And Lord, we choose to uh, surrender. I don't only say that if you mean it, but we choose to surrender to your word, to the truth of your word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're not defeated. I'm going to just pause here for a moment because the Lord is saying, there are many here, you've been hopeless. And God wants to heal your heart. God is just saying, surrender that. Just reject, Lord, we just pray about hopelessness. Take authority over it. And I know it's a tug of war. We take authority, we renounce hopelessness because you're a God of hopefulness. Lord, we're moving forward with hope because we choose to trust you. And right now, some of you may not trust God, but it's saying, like, like I was saying to the Lord, Lord, right now my heart is struggling so much, but I'm choosing to trust you. Would you pour out over me and help me? See, because our spirit man is one with him, our soul's not. So, Lord, we just thank you. And the Lord is saying to you right now, it's not over till he says it's over. And there are promises that you've given up on. It's promises you've given up on because you haven't seen it the way you thought. But the Lord says to get back into that presence. Some of you here have allowed your heart. You're, you're not doing anything bad. You're not in sin. But your heart is shut down. And the Lord wants that heart process. He wants it to, to live again. Oof, I just felt that. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a prayer team. You can come on up. Just, you know what? God's presence is here. Just surrender it to him. If you want, come on up. But where your heart has shut down, you don't need hands laid on you. Just say, Lord, my heart's been shut down. I'm choosing it, my heart to live again. Hurt is hurt. When you're hurt, you're hurt. So, Lord, I just bless each and every person here. You know, when I got saved, we always ran to the altar. We were at the altar. It, we, we, we needed people laying hands on us. We were just, it was me and God. So if, if, if God is speaking to your heart, you don't have to. But if you want, come on up and just, just say to the Lord, I'm presenting at the altar. I'm presenting my heart to you. I'm allowing you right now, Lord, and I'm yielding my, my heart to you to deal with the disappointment, to deal with the hurt, to deal with the shame, to deal with my heart, that, you, that I will be pliable. Oof. So Holy Spirit, we just thank you that you love us too much to let us leave here again with a heart that's not right before you. Lord, we repent where, we don't, where we've not understood you and blamed you for our problems, and then we blamed others. But Lord, even where we thought we were so right in our decision making, we repent. Because if it doesn't abide in your word, if it doesn't align with your word, it's not gonna work, it's wrong. So Lord, forgive us. Lord, I repent for pride. I repent for just being hard-hearted. Because when there's a lot of anger, there's pride. And it's because you think you know more than Jesus sometimes, right? I mean, I know, you know, I've been there. So, God, I just thank you for healing hearts today. You say greater works will we do. And the enemy knows that as we're in that intimate place with you, greater works will happen. He doesn't want that to happen. He just wants you to be a religious church. And I'm speaking at large. I'm not speaking... You know, we all know where we're at. And just go through the motions. It, we, we cannot go through the motions any longer. In the season we're in, we can't go through the religious motion any longer. So Holy Spirit, forgive us. Or we've been religious. Where we know the words, the letter of the law, but it's, you know, it, the, you know but the Spirit gives life. And so, Lord, you want us all to flourish and to flow with your grace whew, and your power. Thank you, Lord. I know the Lord's, the Lord's dealing with me right now. I'm telling you right now, I just sense his presence so strong. Lord, I thank you for your patience. 
where you didn't rebuke me when I was rebuking you. Where you didn't pull back when I pulled back. And angry, was angry with you. Lord, I repent. And I thank you for your grace. I thank you that your mercy triumphs over judgment. I thank you for mercy, God. I thank you for the covenant, that you're a God of covenant, that you don't alter your covenant with us, that you are true. And your covenant is, is to bring us into that Goshen, that place of healing, that Goshen. Not without situations, but you get us through it. You got Joseph through it. You get us through it. You're getting me through it. You're getting us through it. So, Lord, we say thank you. We are here with a grateful heart, Lord. So, Lord, I just bless each and every person here today. And I thank you that this is a turning point season, a crossing over, a miracle season in our mindsets. We need a miracle in our mindsets in Jesus' name. Amen.